What's up you guys, this is Godson, and we're coming back for more exclusive footage of Clan Wars for Clash of Clans. So you guys, in our previous episode, we were going over the Clan Castle level 6 and the loot system. In this episode, I'd like to go over the attacking system and maybe show uh, some of the map and how exactly that works. And just go over some of the new features that you will be expecting in Clan Wars. So just to answer a question that I've seen a lot of people ask, when exactly is Clan Wars coming out? Well, you guys, it is expected around the 9th. Supercell might change that to an earlier or later date, but that's what uh, we were told. And that is what is the estimated time for the release of the date. Okay, so let's get into the way you attack in Clan Wars. So right away, you will notice that if you look at the map, uh, it is laid out so that you have uh, other people's town halls lined up. And they're going in sort of a goblin campaign style of... Um, players of the other clan now one thing that stood out to me when we were playing uh there was only two versus two when me and the other youtubers were fighting each other so i'm not exactly sure how this is going to play out but it seemed chief pat was at the top and simon tay was towards the middle and the other bases were replicas of their base we had uh i guess empty town Empty, empty bases that we were fighting against as well as the other youtubers so i'm guessing you guys the way that the map is laid out is that they're putting the strongest player at the top and the weaker players at the bottom now this is just speculation i can't uh officially say that this is how the map is going to be laid out but from what i have seen this is the structure on how you're going to attack people now the way the attacking works is you're getting two attacks per player uh, against the other members in the clan and your goal is to try and get stars from the other player now if you two star or three star somebody those are always good uh, however if you one star someone and you try and do it again on that same player and you only get one star again then the game counts it as one star instead of two stars now I don't want to make that official. Uh, Supercell might change that and many other features before the game is actually released. However, these are some of the things I noticed while I was playing with the other Clashers. So with that said, you should be able to attack a player more than once uh, as well as your other team members until you three star that player. Now it probably wouldn't be wise for everyone to just gang up on one person in the actual war because the game only keeps record of the best attack against that player. So you guys, you and your clan members must strategize who should attack who because if your stronger clan members go for the weaker enemy players, then the weaker players on your clan will be left with stronger players to fight against. So you guys, Supercell has allowed you to scout out the enemy team to strategize how exactly you're going to go at attacking that player. And you'll notice when someone is under attack, there will be swords clashing. And when they win, depending on how many stars they get, will affect the way the base looks once the battle is over. So you guys, another thing that you will notice and what stood out to me while I was playing Clan Wars is the game actually has a new soundtrack when you're in the war. Aside from that, they have also given us a new arena for our base to be in that actually complements the Town Hall 10. Now, I really was pleased with how that looked, and I hope in a maybe a future update they can uh, get the electric walls maybe to fit more of that theme. So we will wait to see what direction Supercell takes. Now, also you'll notice out in the arena there's some sort of spiky looking. Uh, rib cages and I, uh, me and the other youtubers were thinking those were probably uh, skeletons from the map if you look at the clan wars map you'll see a lot of giant skeleton heads and bones around the area so we're thinking that is what the theme was for this clan wars arena so you guys i said in the last episode even if you lose in clan wars you won't have to worry about your trophies going down your loot or any shields broken because it's a replica of your base and won't affect anything on the outside so you guys what's awesome about this is now that we have clan wars a lot of people that are more towards leaderboards won't have to worry about uh, searching for hours and hours trying to fight somebody because this is like a, an add-on a feature to the game now the only reward we are getting from clan wars is loot at this time however uh, in a later video i'll be going over some possible things that supercell wants to add like a trophy mechanism maybe some badges or a level ranking type of achievements that we'll be getting for winning against another clan. 
But again, all of that is um, more in the future. It's not really official. Clan Wars is basically something that was created for the community because of your request. So Supercell is very open to any things that want to be added depending on feedback. So you guys, this is gonna wrap it up for this video attacking. Uh, I will be doing a Q&A towards the end of this if you guys have any questions. I'll try and answer it as best I can. But you guys, thank you for watching. This is Godson. I'll see you next time. Godson out.